drainage superior towards the thoracic inlet and duct, you want to open up the channel so you're not hitting a, like a wall and bouncing the, the fluid back, okay, so to say. So you take your fingertips and using the myofascial release concept of superior, inferior, lateral, medial, clockwise, you only have to do two. We recommend only doing two release um, techniques, and I would say that would be superior, inferior, medial, lateral, and what that means is you're assessing the tissue underneath your fingertips by coming in the back of the popliteal region here, here, and you're, you're just moving the tissues and finding which way um, she particularly, pr uh, you know, prefers to move, and I could feel that perhaps she's restricted superiorly and, and medially, or laterally in my case, because I'm on this side. And so I'm gonna elect to either stack those one on top of the other and go towards it in an indirect fashion, or I can, I can create a new barrier by going against it. And it would look very similar like this. And the idea is to open up this pathway in the popliteal region, but behind the knee, to move the lymphatic fluid eventually from the, the pedal region up. So it kind of looks like this. And you would do this 15 seconds on each side and then I would do it here as well, and then we would move to the next section.